Yo guys, what is up? It is Shrimp Cup. Welcome back to another video today, actually. Guys, if you have not watched my previous video, in that video I mentioned that I actually recently unlocked Damascus. Now, we're gonna do this section by section. So we'll do assault rifles, we'll do shotguns, we'll do snipers, we'll do uh, marksman rifles, everything in the game. I feel like it's good for me to do a tier list like this because I have a lot of people asking me what's the best guns to use, what do you think's better, what do you think's worse, now that you unlock Damascus. So I think this would be a fun video to do, guys. If you do enjoy this video, drop a like, maybe subscribe to the channel, and let's jump right into it. Alright everyone, I do have the tier list set up for you guys, and we're going to rate all the weapons, all the assault rifles, and I think these are like up to date, so with obviously the most recent weapon being the FAL. Um, but we're going to start out from the top and kind of go on the bottom. This is, no in, this is not in any particular order. But of course, before we get through anything, let me just, um, we're putting that in its own tier, okay? Moving on. Alright guys, like I said, this is in no particular order, but we're gonna do the Type 19 next, honestly, and I'm not even saying this just because I have a Mythic variant. I'm gonna say Type 19 is S tier. Super accurate, great on, you know, great fire rate. I think the gun sound just by itself is fantastic. It's very satisfying to use, and honestly, not that bad of a default iron sight if you ask me. So I'm gonna put that in S tier. All right, next we have the Gross Uh. Um, okay, I'm not gonna lie. It, this weapon did surprise me when I had to get it gold, but honestly, uh, I'm gonna put it in D tier. I know that might upset some people, but just know, I mean, it, it guys, the default iron sight is absolutely atrocious. There's not many variants, if any variants at all, that actually change up the iron sight on this gun, so I'm gonna put it in D tier myself. All right, guys, next we do have the FAL. This is a, I had to add in this one, but this is obviously the Lag 53. Uh, I don't know. I actually might put this one in D tier in front of the Gross uh, because it is a slow firing but high damage assault rifle. But honestly, you might as well go for the SKS or any other marksman, or even the Odin, I would say. And speaking of which, I'm actually going to put the Odin um, probably. Mm, I'm gonna put the Odin B tier. This weapon is super good for staying back and getting you know, some long range kills. Um, I really do enjoy the Odin, and I think it is definitely one of the more solid uh, weapons in uh, COD Mobile, at least in terms of the, uh, the assault rifle. So, next we have the Growl. Honestly, I'm gonna put Growl along with the Type 19. I do think that the Growl. Actually, I might say the Type 19 is a little better than the Growl. That might be controversial. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. But next, we're gonna do the FFAR. Uh, it's good. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in A tier. Actually, mm, I'm gonna put it actually in B tier. I think that the FFAR is not a bad gun at all. But honestly, me personally, like I said, this is an opinion. You know, this is my opinion in terms of the weapon in this game. I would prefer to choose the Odin over the FFAR. So, next we have the Maddox. Uh, the Maddox is good, don't get me wrong guys, it's good. And I'm not gonna say that it's like garbage tier, you know, D tier, like nothing like that. But I'm gonna have to put it, I'm gonna put it in C tier guys. I, I have, like I said, I've used, I feel like I have a fair opinion with this, at least unlocking Damascus, cause you know, you really have to uh, use the weapon a good amount in order to get a gold. And I don't know man, like it's good, but I just had, there are so many other weapons above it that I would rather use. Uh, for example, the next gun here, the EM2, I'm going to actually put that one still in C tier, and I know I'm going to get some comments about this one because a lot of people praise the EM2, and it's good, but me personally, I would rather use the FFAR or the Odin above the EM2, but I would not use the Maddox over it. So I'm actually going to put it in front of the Maddox in C tier here. Next gun, we have the Craig 6. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. The Craig 6 is great. It's, it's awesome. And of course, I have the Mythic variant. But, uh, I don't know. When I'm looking for weapons to use, I probably would rather use the Odin over the Krig-6. And obviously this is, you know, I am mostly talking about the base gun. I'm not necessarily counting Mythics or anything. But honestly, when it comes down to it, I would rather use the Odin over the Krig-6. But I would use the Krig-6 over the FFAR and any of these weapons down here. So I think that's a fair spot for it. But... Of course, guys, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions. All right, next, we got the Kilo 141. This weapon is actually really good. This weapon surprises me a lot. I'm not going to lie. So I am actually going to put an A tier. The Kilo 141 is 
I mean, obviously people who have the Mythic can say, obviously it's very good gun, but I don't have any super crazy variant for it, but I do really like the time to kill on this gun. And the ammo is great, the fire rate is great, it's pretty stable overall. I actually, I'm pretty confident in uh, putting the Kilo in A tier, because I would use it over the Odin, Trick 6, and FFAR, and obviously all these weapons down here. So I'm actually, I'm actually pretty confident in putting it in A tier. Speaking of A tier, M13, I'm putting it top of A. Honestly, M13, a fantastic gun, whether you have a variant or not. It's super accurate, it's super stable, it's withstand, it's withstood the test of time as more and more assault rifles get added to COD Mobile. So I'm actually pretty confident. Oh my god, my freaking hair. I can see. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty confident in putting the M13 top of A because it is very good. I do enjoy using this weapon a lot. I'm actually really close on getting a diamond too. So yeah, top of A, M13, I feel like that's good. All right, guys, so this next pick might have some people question my sanity, but hear me out. Swordfish, bottom of S. The Swordfish is fantastic for long range and even short range engagements. Now hear me out. A lot of people might disagree with me, and if you do, please let me know what you think in the comments below, but I love putting a hip fire build on the swordfish so not only is it accurate super far range you don't i don't really even feel like i have to use an optic on it but having the hip fire build on this thing can be really useful in short-term engagements and of course halberd mag the halberd mag is my favorite magazine attachment to use with this thing the five burst kill the five burst is just super insane and i really i find myself going back to this weapon quite a bit so i'm actually pretty confident in putting swordfish uh an s tier here Next up, we got the CR-56A Max. Ooh. Mm. This is a little... This is kind of hard to, to pick. I actually might put this... Mm. I'm going to put it in, in, in uh, B tier. Above the Krig 6 and the FFAR, but not in front of the Odin. Because, honestly, one big reason for me uh, using this weapon a lot is... Funny enough, the, the stupid, like, shield attachment you could put on this gun. I'm actually okay with putting the CR-56 Amax and behind the Odin. Because I still probably would use the Odin just for the longer engagements. But I think the shield adds a big fun factor to me. Because I don't really see a lot of people using the shield attachment on this at all. So, and I'm not going to lie, the CR-56 Amax Prestige looks freaking crispy. So, B tier it goes. The AS Val. Hmm. I actually did, actually, I might put this, um, I might actually, I want to put it top of C. I meant to mention this when I was talking about the CR-56 Amax, but it's cool that you can have a, uh, a marksman, like it has the magazine attachments for the, so you can get long range kills. Now, I, of course, like I said, I did forget to mention that when I was rating the CR-56, but I will have to say that the CR-56 having that sniper magazine, I think is really, really nice for long range engagements. And the AS Val, I would not use it above the CR-56 Amax if I'm gonna do like a marksman build with it, right? So um, I probably would actually, hmm, I might put the AS Val behind the EM-2 in C tier because I still would rather use the EM-2 over the AS Val, just generally. So I I, I think I'm I think I'm good to, I'm confident with that, right? I'm confident. Next gun we have up is the FR556. Now this weapon, it surprised me when I had to use it because obviously, I, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really use this weapon besides just getting a gold when I was in Damascus. Um, I might put it, this might be controversial. I'm gonna put it C tier. Behind the Maddox, behind the Ace Valve, behind the EM2. I just, I don't know. This weapon just feels like I don't, there's nothing stand out about it. And if you guys have any interesting builds that you would like to share with me for the F uh, for the FR556, please let me know. But I'm actually I'm I'm gonna stick with C tier behind all these other guns, the Maddox, AS Val, and EM2. Next gun, Peacekeeper. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I really do enjoy using the Peacekeeper, but in terms of usability, ugh, I'm gonna put it in front of the. CR-56 Amax, but behind the Odin, because I use a three times scope build with the Peacekeeper, and it actually does really, really well. And obviously, like, I have the Mythic variant for it, but 
I actually think a lot of people sleep on, uh, they sleep on the Peacekeeper. I'm not even gonna lie to you. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put behind the Odin because I probably still would use the Odin in terms of long range engagements, but the Peacekeeper can actually be really fun to use as well. So I'm cool with this spot right here. I know a lot of people are gonna get mad about me putting the Peacekeeper over the Craig Six and the FFAR, but honestly, like I really do enjoy using the Peacekeeper. Like I really do. If you guys are curious, I might put like a little image on the screen of like a build that I have with it. And I want you guys to try it out and let me know what you think in the comments, but. We are back here. We got the DRH. Honestly, DRH, top of A. It, to this day, the DRH is one of the most consistent, like very good, all around reliable guns to use. And I would, t I would rather use the DRH over the Kilo and the M13. So I'm actually, I'm very, very confident in where I'm putting this. Top of A, I think that's fair. Uh, speaking of top of A, I'm actually gonna go ahead and slap the HVK right I'm gonna put the HBK in front of the Kilo, but behind the M13. The HBK is another very, very good all around weapon. And of course it's from Black Ops 3 and, and that, that freaking game, it, it was super amazing too. But I do find myself looking more towards the M13 and the DRH when I do wanna use those. So I think it's fair, middle of A, I think that's, for me, I'm pretty happy with that. Next gun up, we have the H, bruh. Ugh, dude, I'm not even gonna lie. <sighs> I might put it in, in D tier. I think that this gun is it. It's just, it. It's time to kill is just too slow. And I'll put like more range on it and more like magazine capacity. But I just I find myself falling short when I use the H bra compared to like everything else on this list. So I'm actually gonna put it in D tier. If you guys have a decent build, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, it's gonna have to go in D tier. I, I just, I do not, like, I try to give this weapon a chance, especially because it was in Advanced Warfare, but it just, it just falls so short as compared to all these other weapons here. Next up, we have the KN-44. The KN-44, this is a very interesting weapon. I, I have a couple builds that I do enjoy using, and it can actually be pretty good time to kill wise. I might put this one, mmm. I'm gonna put it in front of the, actually, I'm gonna put it behind the Craig 6. The KN-44, it is, there's not like any super standout attachments on this gun, but I do think that the time to kill, and if you like play with this gun properly, you can have some success. But, and I do finding, I do find myself using it more than the FFAR, and then, you know, and of course above any of these other weapons here. So I'm actually, I'm actually confident putting it in B tier here. Next to our rifle, guys, we have the Man of War. Now, I'm not gonna lie. If the Man of War didn't have the thermite rounds, I'd probably put it somewhere like bottom of B, but honestly, the thermite rounds, I'm gonna put that in A. Strictly because in order, like I got legendary last season as of recording this video with the Man of War thermite rounds. I know, you can make fun of me in the comments below. I will take the criticism because Honestly, the Man of War, like, it destroys score streaks super fast with Thermite Rounds. And of course, it only has 15 rounds in the chamber for the Man of War Thermite Rounds. Destroying streaks, destroying XS1 Goliath, you just melt through that. And I'm not even gonna lie, in Battle Royale, the Man of War is absolutely... It's so much fun, especially when you get a gold attachment slot. Next gun up, we have the ICR. Now, this gun... Mm, the micro mag, um, the micro mag uh, attachment, IFS or whatever it's called, it, it's cool, but it just slows down the weapon way too much. And without it, dude, I mean, I don't know. Hmm. I might put this one. I, I'll put it behind the KN44 in B tier. I do find myself kind of going to it more than the FFAR, and obviously on top of the other weapons below in this list. But I don't know, There's, it's just, other than that Micro Mag A, IFS or whatever attachment, I just don't really find myself going to this one very much. I'd rather use all these weapons above it, to be honest, like for when I really think about it. Up next, we got the LK24. This might surprise some people, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna put it right behind the Man of War. I have an interesting build where th this gun is actually very stable. You don't really need a lot of recoil or vertical you know, attachments for this gun. I think it's very, very good. And I have a decent mobility and I have like long shot on it for the perk. 
for my build on the LK, and I actually really, I do enjoy this gun, and I think this gun is actually getting a, a legendary blueprint for getting the six uh, legendary medals uh, this year, here in 2024, so, um, and obviously I've, I, I use the weapon plenty of times before, there's a lot of good variants that give this gun a very decent uh, default iron sight as well, so, yeah, I'm gonna put it right behind the Man of War. I think it's very good. I, I haven't. I do find myself using. Well, actually, hmm, now that I think about it, I'm gonna move the LK in front, and I'm gonna actually move the L. I'm, I'm gonna put the the Man of War right behind the M13. Here we go. I'm gonna change up this list. Okay, I know I'm kind of changing up a lot, but I think this is where I'm gonna put it. The Man of War, I just find so much fun to use, but I do find myself using the LK more than the Kilo and the HVK. So I know I kind of switch on my list here a bit, but I'm actually, I actually am happy with where this placement is now for sure. Next up, the BK. If you guys, if you watch my channel, you know I do have the Mythic Siren, and honestly, the BK variant that comes with that is very, very nice, but honestly, I, do, I don't know. I'm gonna put. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna put it behind the Krig, but in front of the KN and the ICR. I think that's fair. Because the BK is very good. It's very stable. The iron side isn't even that bad on it. You know, the default side. And it has decent range, it has decent recoil control. But if you're not careful, the recoil can get a little out of hand depending on the attachments you use. So yeah, I'm gonna put it in, in B tier. M4. <sighs> I want to put this one higher because I actually do you like using this gun, and it's it's a classic. You know, it's the first SR rifle I believe in the game for COD Mobile. But in terms of usability, <sighs> hmm, I'm gonna have to put it in front of D tier. It's just not that good. It it's it takes way too many bullets from longer ranges to kill enemies, and you can have a pretty fast mobility. But honestly, whenever I try using this thing. I, I don't know, just it kind of falls short as compared to some of these other guns on the list, so I'm gonna have to put it top of D tier, honestly. Next up, we have the ASM 10. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this behind the EM2, but in front of the AS Val, Maddox, and the FR556, because there's that Branson barrel, I think, which it, it, you fire two shots faster, like as you start shooting. And I think they added a little buff to it because I think it used to have a negative, like to using the Branson barrel. But honestly, I think when they removed that negative, if, if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm pretty confident about that. It's actually pretty decently usable, but sometimes it does the damage fall off is a little tragic sometimes, and the recoil, uh, the recoil control can be a little hard to manage. But honestly, I, I'm gonna yeah, mid, sort of middle of C tier. I would use the EM2 over it and obviously these guns too so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it right there next up we got the ak-47 we're we're putting this oh hmm. i'm gonna put this top three s tier behind the ground then time 19 but i think it's like very close the ak-47 is i i love the ak-47 in any fps I just love the design of the AK-47. I love the way it sounds here in COD Mobile. I enjoy using it, and like I said, in, in, in a lot of other games too. It's always been like my top favorite assault rifle in like any game, any first-person shooter game. So yeah, C tier. I would use the Top 19 or the Growl over the AK, but it's close behind third place S tier for sure. Next gun, AK-117. Mm, this is actually a little hard. I want to put it in front of the M13, but honestly, that is just because. Mm. I'm gonna put it behind the Man of War, but in front of the LK, Kilo, and HBK. I have the Prestige Meltdown version of this gun, so that kind of gives me a little bias, but I'm not gonna lie, in BR, it's really, really good. The aim assist is kind of up there, I'm pretty sure. If that's only for the Mythic, please let me know down below. I'd love to be corrected. Um, but yeah, I would use the Man of War M13 or DRH above it, to be honest. Because once you, if you want to try to make a decent mobility build, the recoil is very difficult to control. And I, but like I said, I still would use it over the LK, Kilo, and HVK. So yeah, I'm going to put it middle of A tier, middle of A tier. Still a very, very good weapon. 
M16! M16! Ah, uh, this is gonna be a difficult one. I actually might just put this last on B. Um, it's not a bad weapon, it's actually very good. A very good burst weapon. Burst weapons in this game are actually very, very fun to use. Obviously, I would use the Swordfish anytime over the M16, but I find myself using the FFAR, ICR, KN44, etc. Like, way more than the M16, but... I would rather use the M16 over the EM2, ASM10, AS Val, Maddox, etc. So I, yeah, bottom of B tier I think is fair, at least for me. Alright guys, last assault rifle here. Oh man, dude. The Type 25. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, it's this weapon is pretty underwhelming for me. I might, I might put it. Ooh, hmm. I feel like the Type 25 isn't as bad as like the Gross uh or the F like or like the FAL or the lag, but I think it's a little better than the H bruh. I'm gonna put it like second to last on D tier. I, I just I don't know. I'll use this weapon sometimes, even in BR, and it's a little underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. And like I said, I've had I have a couple builds on it, but I don't know. I just there's so many more guns in COD Mode that I'd rather use over uh, that gun here. So I, I'm actually, I think this tier list right here for the assault rifles is fair. Guys, let me know what you think about my ranking of the assault rifles here. But now we're going to move on to the LMGs next here in COD Mobile. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, everyone, here we are. We are looking at the LMGs. Actually, I had to make my own list because I'm using this uh, tier maker website, but there wasn't one for like COD M LMG, so I had to make my own real quick. But here we go. Um, off the bat, oh honestly, MG42, get your own yeah. section. Is there any arguments? Does anybody have any objections? No? Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and do the, uh, like I said, no particular order. Let's look at the S36. I, hmm. The S36. Uh, mm. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, this weapon is good. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's pretty... It's just pretty mid. It's pretty mid. I'm going to put it in C. I know that's the second to last tier, but like, I don't think it's anywhere near A or S. But I don't think it's B either, because there's a lot of other LMGs that I'd rather use over the S36. So I'm just going to put it like at C tier for now. Next up, we got the UL. I'm going to put it right behind the, the S36. Um, I don't know. Just kind of another underwhelming LMG. Nothing really stands out about it. I don't know. I, I, I got a gold, and I was like, all right, next thing. Like, I don't really, I don't know. It didn't really surprise me when I used it. Next gun up, we have the RPD. Now, this S tier. All right, now, look. I've made fun of people who camp in corners with the RPD, but honestly, the unlimited ammo the compressant cooling barrel, I think it is, where you get unlimited ammo, and it just charges up, that automatically makes it S tier, in my opinion. It, especially in Battle Royale, it is so amazing. The stability isn't that bad. The mobility is horrible, but, I mean, it's just a, such an amazing LMG, and it has stand, it stood the test of time, so I'm pretty confident with putting the RPD in S tier. All right, next up, we got the M4 LMG. This gun actually surprised me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I might put it in... Mm, I actually might put it in B tier. It's not horrible, and I would definitely use it over the S36, the UL, but I don't think it's quite A tier material. You guys can let me know what you think about it in the comments below, but it did surprise me when I did actually end up going gold for it, so um, B tier I think is a fair is a fair placement. Next up, we got the chopper. <laughs> Honestly, underwhelming. Um, I would use it over the S36 in the UL, though, but I would rather use the M4 over the chopper. So I'm going to put it top of C tier. I think that's fair, honestly. Next up, we got the Holger. I think it's cool that you can make, like, an assault rifle build with this gun. So I actually might put it in A tier, to be honest. It's just an all-around good build. I think just an LMG in general, decent mobility, decent, you know, ammo. Uh, decent stability. I think it's just overall really good. A tier, I think, is a fair place for this one. Next up, we got the Hades, and I don't know. The Hades, mm, I'm gonna put it right behind the Holger, actually. The Hades is very good. Um, you can actually make some interesting hit fire builds with this, especially with the that one attachment that has, like, the handlebar on it, you know? But I would rather use the Holger and the RPD above it, just because of those two weapons. They're, they're so versatile, and 
with the Hades, you are kind of limited in terms of like the magazine capacity and such. So I think uh, an A tier behind the Holger is fair. Next up, of course, we have the PKM. Honestly, the PKM, I don't know. I, I don't, it, it is a good LMG, don't get me wrong but I think I would rather use the M4 and these other ones above it. So I'm gonna put it actually behind the M4 LMG in B tier here. I always thought the Dingo was such a funny name for a weapon, especially when, you know, in Black Ops 3, because that's obviously the game that this came from. Um, honestly though, the Dingo surprised me in terms of usability. I'm gonna put it top of A. I'm gonna put it top of A. Guys, please tell me you have looked at the different magazine types. You got the Black Ops-like magazine thing. and I mean, this gun is super stable. You don't even need attachments for this thing to be good. Honestly, super good mobility too. I think it's definitely top of A is fair. Last gun for the LMGs, of course, we have the Bruin. I'm going to put it right behind the RPD in S tier. I have a super awesome mobility build with the Bruin MK9, and honestly... When it first came out, I didn't think it was anything crazy, but as I used it more and more, especially when grinding for Damascus, it very much surprised me. I was able to get this thing gold pretty easily, and I actually ended up really enjoying it, especially using a mobility build. You know, you have the 60 Mara mags, and then you have all the other uh, mobility attachments, and honestly, it doesn't really have the recoil suffer too much. So uh, I think right behind uh, the RPD and S tier it is a proper placement for it. So... There we go, guys. We have my tier list for the LMGs here in COD Mobile. I know I didn't really put anything in a D tier, so in that case, I might put the S36 and the UL in D tier just because I would use the chopper over those two, but I would rather use the PKM, M4, etc. over that. So I think I think this is where I'm going to put my list at. I know I kind of changed the order there, but there's not many LMGs in the game as compared to, you know, assault rifles and even SMGs, which, speaking of which, we're going to go through the SMGs next here in COD Mobile. All right, everyone, I am back here. It is the next day. We're going to continue with this tier list. I have my hair pulled back so you can see my big five head, but either way, we are moving on to the SMGs now, guys, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and start off from the top here. Uh, well, I guess for the bottom, technically. I want to try to go in order a little bit here. Uh, we get the RU Sirius. Uh, I'm, I call this gun the RU Sirius because it, it's just, eh, I don't know. It, it's not, it's not bad. It's definitely not like C or D like worthy, but I'll just put it right in the middle. It's actually not bad. The reason I call it the RU Sirius is because when I get killed by bots using this, I'm like, bro, are you serious? So, um, yes, yes. Very funny and original, uh, thing here. <clears throat> All right. Next one, guys, is going to be the Payday W. I'd hate you, little brother. The BDW is actually pretty good, dude. I would even say it's above the RUS. So I'm actually going to put it in B still. It's pretty average. Um, you don't have an extended mag, which I guess you don't really need for the payday W. But I do think that B, on top of B, is uh, an appropriate spot. So, next, guys, we have the Chickcom. Now, um, I don't know. I actually, when I was using this gun to rank it up and get camos, it actually surprised me how well I was doing with it. So I'm actually going to put it top of B, actually, in front of the PDW. I know, we got three SMGs in the B already here, but we're going to change that up with the MSMC. I'm going to put it A. I'm going to put it A. And, and before you guys yell at me in the comments, I want to say this. Try this SMG out. It will actually surprise you, especially with an extended mag. And uh, if you put a suppressor on it, too, like the... Uh, Model the suppressor for some additional range. You'll actually be surprised. This gun kills pretty fast. I actually really do enjoy using it. So I'm going to put it on A. Next guys, we got the Razorback. Uh, I don't know, dude. I I'm just going to put it behind the RUS. Like, I it's fun to use, I guess. But I don't know. When you compare it to all these other SMGs, I just, I don't know. It doesn't really stand out to me. Um, Obviously, it's a gun from Black Ops 3. So that's pretty cool. But other than that, I really didn't have it wasn't like super awesome but it wasn't like super horrible to use either so i'm just gonna put it in b tier next up we got the pharaoh <sighs> we're gonna put it in c this gun is not bad <clears throat> however the the recoil and the burst pattern of the pharaoh to me is just eh, it, it's not super like I, I i'd rather use all these smgs i just listed out over the pharaoh so that's why i'm gonna put it in c tier here next up we have the hd 40 d garbage actually you know what all right, there we go. That fits. HD40 is the worst SMG in the game. 
It took me a fairly decent amount of time to get this one gold. It's just not good. The fire rate's pretty slow. It doesn't even have that much damage to make up for that fire rate. And the it, it's just it's just not good. It's just not good. I'm, that's like the worst weapon. And, and, and the worst SMG, in my opinion. Next to though, we got the Cordite. Honestly, just another average weapon. Uh, but I, I'm gonna put it behind the RUS because I probably would use I would use the Cordite over the Razorback. But yeah, in terms of the RUS, PDW, Chickcom, SM, MSMC, English, I, I, I really wouldn't use it. So I think that's a good spot for me. GKS. We're gonna put it actually. We're gonna put it on top of A. The GKS is underrated. It absolutely is. I really like the fire rate and the damage is it, it just fits right along perfectly with it. And honestly, it's criminally underrated it is amazing to see how many people don't actually use this smg so uh, yeah top top of a for me fennec now i'm actually gonna put this bot uh in c tier i'm actually gonna put a, a top of c because yes this gun used to be super meta back when it first came out years and years ago and i mean yes it's it kills very fast and yes it, it is it is a very deadly smg but for me personally like i said this is a personal list I, I would rather use so many more of these SMGs above it. I just recently got the pay to win Fennec. And, and I still, I, I don't know. I, I don't even find myself really aiming down sights that much with this gun anyway. So yeah, I'm going to put it top of C. QQ9, S tier. Let's just, what else do I need to say? D do I need to say anything else? No. AGR. I'm actually going to put this uh, top of B. I would rather use it over the Chickcom, PDW, etc. I would rather choose the GKS MSMC than obviously the QQ9 above it. So I think top of B is actually a pretty fair point. QXR. Also going in S. I, I absolutely enjoy using the QXR. Now, I will say if I am playing search or something where I need to get kills, <clears throat> where I need to get fast kills, I'm going to go with the QQ9 here. But the QXR is right behind it, in my opinion. I absolutely love it. We got the PP. Hold up. All right, there we go. I'd say that's fitting. Next up, we have the MX-9. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on A. Very good. You have to, the magazine attachment that you can get that does more damage, I think really, really makes this weapon so unique and it's really, really fun to use. In my opinion, I think it is very, very good right along with the MSMC and GKS, but I would obviously rather use those two guns, QXR, QX, or QQ9. Uh, but yeah, so I think bottom of A is pretty fair, actually. CBR4, um, I don't know. I'm gonna put it, uh, I don't know, dude. It's good, don't get me wrong, but uh, uh, I'm gonna put, I'm, this might be controversial, I'm putting it bottom of B. It's good, as a big magazine, decent recoil, I just, I don't know, I, it's, not that it's not fun to use, but I know, I just have fun playing with all the other weapons in this category, including the Are You Serious PDW and Chickoff, like I'm serious, like I really don't find myself using it that much uh except when i got a gold so then we got the ppsh i'm gonna put that actually right next to the i'm gonna put it behind the cbr and i might get a lot of flack for this but honestly it's just kind of same issue for me it's cool and and it's 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 okay to use but honestly i find myself using these other smgs and when i got the ppsh gold it wasn't really anything i was like all right cool next gun you know so i, I didn't really care for it that much so that's where i'm gonna put it here Mac 10. Now this actually might surprise some people. This is actually going to surprise some people. I'm going to put it top of A. Absolutely a fast killer. I'd say it's even more deadly than the Fennec because one, the Mac 10 can have a much bigger magazine size, but two, in shipment, you put some hip fire attachments on this thing. Deadly. Absolutely deadly. Um, I actually am. Now that I am thinking about that, I'm going to put it actually bottom of A. Not top of A because I do enjoy using the GKS, MSMC, and MX-9 a little more, but if you need a deadly gun for, for close quarters, you need to kill fast, MAC-10 is where you go. It is absolutely phenomenal. All right, we got the KSP-45. This is really going to irk some people. We're putting in S tier. I absolutely love this SMG. And people are going to be like, well, but, but is it the rate of fire slower than the Chekhov or the, the Pharaoh? Like, what, what's wrong with you, bro? And to me... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little biased. I have the one legendary blueprint for this gun, but honestly, it was such a fun gun to get gold and diamond. I absolutely think this is underrated, and I think more people should use it. It's it's freaking fun to use. 
And like I said, I do admit I'm a little biased here, but this is my list, so. Next, we got the Switchblade. I don't know, dude. I, I'm, I'm going to put it... I don't want to put it, like, bottom of B. But I don't want to put it, like, top of B either. I don't know, dude. I'm going to put it... I'm going to put it above the Chikov. I, I think that's a fair spot because it is a very good SMG and I, I and it, it is very formidable and if you're freaking accurate with your shots this thing can drop really really fast so coming up we got the Lapa I'm actually gonna put this in D tier pretty underwhelming it's fun to use and you can get some pretty cool builds with it but I just don't want I just don't find myself using it that much I'd rather use the Fennec or the Pharaoh to be honest next we got the OTS 9 I'm gonna put that also in D tier I just I, I, this feels more like a machine pistol, like a secondary. Like, to, in my opinion, the OTS-9 feels like it would be next to, like, the automatic pistol. Like, the machine pistol and the, um, the other automatic pistol. It's escaping me right now. But, yeah, I, it, and I, I might catch some flack, but I just don't find myself using that much. We got the Striker 45 D tier. I, I just, I don't know. It, it, to me, it just, it drops so much slower than it used to be. Like, when this gun first came out, it was pretty okay, but I don't know, even then, all, all these other ones, I feel like I have much more success with, so. Mm. CX-9! I'm actually gonna put this in S tier. We're gonna put it in front of the KSP, though. CX-9, absolutely deadly. Absolutely phenomenal. It, one of the best, if not the best, honestly, like, statistic-wise, maybe, SMG in the game besides QQ-9. I do find myself using the QXR a little bit more than the CX-9, but yeah, the CX-9 is a, a very formidable choice and another deadly one at, at almost any range. So, next we got the Tech-9. I'm just gonna put it B. I, I got a gold and I moved on. Like, it's burst fire, yes, and some people might say, oh, this is way better than the KSP, and you're probably right, but for me, I would just rather use the KSP or even the Chikom uh, that's above here, and... and and I know that's gonna get me some flack, especially because there's a new rank skin for it. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's 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 okay. I would honestly rather. Oh, shrimp. A controversial place, I know, but this is my list. I would like to know. I would like to know what you guys think in the comments below. We're almost done here. We got the ISO next. It's good. It, it's very good, but it, it's just average. I don't know. There's so many SMGs in the game that a lot of them just. I, I've, I've put in B tier because it's like they're good, but they're not like garbage. And I'm actually going to do the same with the US 9 here. Now, I did already get this gold, so I did already get this Damascus, and it's good. It's definitely good. Um, and it can counter the BP 50, but honestly, dude, I just, I don't know. I would rather use the AGR Switchblade, like guns I'm way more familiar with than the US 9. So that's going to be my list with SMGs. Let's go ahead and move on to the next category. All right, guys, we are moving on to the snipers now, and I decide to combine the marksman rifles with the sniper rifles only because there's there's four marksman rifles, and you can use them as snipers depending, so I feel like it'd be fair just to compile them in all uh, in one list here. So um, just to start it off, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, one out of the way real quick. All right, moving on. I'm going to start off with the LW3 Tundra. To me, this is S tier automatically. It is, like, out of all the snipers, it's the best to use. I think it's most accurate, super fast, and it's very, very deadly, especially in the right hands. Uh, and I'm saying this as I'm pretty good with it, and I get absolutely decimated by anybody that uses this against me, especially when it comes to Ghost. All right, guys, next on, let's uh, move on to the ZRG. I'm actually going to put this one... I want to put in S tier, but let's be realistic. I'm going to put in A tier. The only reason that I'm putting this so high is because of the anti-tank rounds, or it's the anti-vehicle rounds, one of those. It makes it a one-shot, and for me, I if I get hit markers on a sniper, bro, like, I I'm dead. You know what I mean? Especially if I'm against uh, competent players, so. But I really do enjoy using the ZRG. I like the sound of it. It's very, very crispy. It's very heavy and slow, but it does a lot of damage, so I'm going to put it in A tier here. Next up, we got the Koshka. This weapon actually surprised me a lot. And I'm actually going to put it in A tier as well. I never really used it at all before I went gold, you know, to get Damascus. And honestly, it surprised me so much. I have used it a bit after I finished with getting the Sniper's Gold. So I'm going to put it right up there with A tier. I used, I enjoy using it just as much as I enjoy using the ZRG. So next up, HDR. I'm actually going to put this in an S tier. And you might be wondering why. I think that this gun, one, is very punchy sounding. I love the way it sounds. 
but two, it's it, it's a little slower in mobility, but I think it it has a much higher chance of getting like a one-shot kill, especially with the right attachments. I think it's a fantastic weapon to use. I have a lot of fun with it, so that's why I'm putting it in S tier. Next up, we got the SVD. Uh, honestly, D tier. It's not that good. I mean, it's it's a you know semi-automatic, so boom, boom, boom. You know, but it has a lot of recoil, and to me, I just there's so many other semi-automatic sni uh, semi-automatic snipers that I would rather use over the SVD. So I'm putting it in D tier. Speaking of semi-automatic, we got the XPR. I'm putting that up in S tier. Absolutely fantastic weapon. And especially in Battle Royale, if you get the freaking legendary sniper expert, dude, fully auto, it, it, it's overpowered. And it's just a fun sniper to use in general for me. I really like the way it sounds. It's one of the OG snipers in the game. And I still think it, it, it's, su it's super fun to use along with these uh, other S tiers here. So moving on, we're gonna go we're gonna keep going with the semi-automatic snipers here, guys. I'm gonna rank the M21 EBR. I'm not gonna lie, chat. I was kind of underwhelmed with this weapon, so I'm. But but I don't think it's as bad as like the D tier, at least in my opinion. So I, I'm gonna have to put it in C tier. I know that might kind of uh, shrimp some people the wrong way, but I just I don't know. I, I would rather use or, use this one over the SVD, but at the same time, it's just it's just underwhelming for me. I didn't really have a lot of fun using the weapon, so. We are keeping on with the semi-automatic snipers. We're looking at the Arctic 50. This one is a bit better. I would rather use it over the M21 SVD and, of course, that guy down there. But I'm these other ones at the top, I, I'd rather use it over. So I'm actually going to put it uh, in B tier here. Um, please let me know what you guys think. And if you have some decent loadouts for this one, I might be using the wrong attachments. I haven't, you know, fully experimented with the Arctic 50 yet. But if you guys have a cool build for this one, I know it's really good in BR, but I just don't really use it much outside of that, so... We got the SKS. I'm putting this right on... Up. Okay, I actually wanted to put it up here in S tier. Fantastic gun. It, it's super good. And I do actually... I did forget to add one weapon here, the Type 63. I'm going to put the Type 63 up here in S tier as well, just because of the, the, the sheer fact it's such a fast-firing weapon. Super punchy, super awesome. So just imagine, imagine the Type 63 and the SKS, I count them as the same because they're very, very similar. So, and also, it's been a freaking million years of me trying to crop out each uh, image of the weapon here. So, uh, but either way, we're gonna move on to the MK2. It surprised me when I used it. I'm not gonna lie. And so, I'm actually gonna put it on top of B tier. It, I would use it over the Arctic 50, but I would put the ZRG and the Koshka and all these ones above first, but the MK2, it, it did surprise me when I, of course, didn't use it to get a gold, so, uh, freaking, there you go, B tier. Next up, we got the Rytek. I, look, I know I'm putting a lot of guns in the S tier, but dude, S tier, like, dude, the Thermite rounds on this are so much fun, and I know it's kind of cheap and a little gimmicky, but it, it's just super fun to use, and you guys might actually be confused, speaking of the Thermite, uh, the ammo here, the Kilo Bolt action, I'm actually gonna put it bottom of B tier. Yes, it has the thermite rounds, just as the ride tech, but to me, the range super is like, it falls off super quick, and to me, the fire rate is less desirable. Obviously, the ride tech is semi-automatic, but I think the kilo is just, it, it's a little too slow for my play style, so that's why I'm putting it in B tier. All right, next up, we got SPR. This one, mm, I'm gonna have to put it right behind the MK2 and B tier. I did use it a bit before getting it gold, and it's good. But for me, it's just like the the, the bolt action. I don't know. I kind I tend to kind of go away from those, with of course the exception of the ones up top here. But I don't know. It, it's just it's pretty slap dab in the middle for me, man. Like I don't really I don't really plan on using it much uh, after getting a gold. So next up, we got the DLQ. Look, guys, I know S tier is looking super chunky right now, but it's an S tier gun, and I'm actually I'm actually gonna put it right next to the LW3. I really do enjoy the DLQ so much, and I think it is, it like, I think objectively, the LW3 Tundra is better than the DLQ, but the DLQ is just so satisfying to use, no matter what variant you have, or the base gun, whatever it is, I just think it's a super satisfying weapon to use. It's one of the OG weapons in COD Mobile, and I think S tier is a fair spot. Is anybody gonna argue with me? I don't think so. Speaking of that, guys, we got the Locust next. Honestly, the more I use the Locust, 
Uh, the less I actually liked it, I'm actually gonna put it in D tier. Now I I will catch some heat for this. I know for I know that for a fact because there are a lot of good locust users. But for me personally, as I was getting it gold and trying, you know, knocking out everything else, and I got to locust, and honestly, it really got it got so many hit markers. And yes, obviously that has fault, you know, partially my fault because of my aim. But I still think that the locust is super underwhelming for me, so I'm putting that in D tier. Last sniper here, we do of course have the outlaw. I, mm, top of C. It's not, I, I would use it over the M21 SVD Locust and of course ugh, this creature. But I don't know, just kind of one of those middle of the road, not not something I'd probably ever use after getting a gold. So uh, there you go, there's my list. Guys, feel free to let me know what you think of that list in the comments below. And now we're gonna move on to the next uh, section thing stuff and I'm good at English. Guys, we are moving on to the shotguns here in COD Mobile and this will actually wrap up the primary weapons here in COD Mobile and I'm actually just, I'm not even gonna waste any time. If you guys watch my channel, you know exactly where I'm gonna put this gun. The Jack Me Hop is S tier and that doesn't even go for COD Mobile. I love the AA-12 or the, the Jack-12 in any game that it's in, including COD Mobile, including X Defiant, the more recent uh, FPS I've been playing. And of course in the OG Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. So yeah, jack me off, S tier. Next up though, we got the Argoof. The Argoof is actually really, really good. I'm actually gonna put an S tier. And and this might surprise some people who haven't used it that much, but I was familiar with this weapon in Black Ops 3 and I didn't use it that much back then. But here in Con Mobile, it is a sniper shotgun. It really, really is. I'm sure you guys have heard that before. And I recommend you guys give it a try. It is super freaking awesome. It it will surprise you how far away you can be from an enemy to get a kill with this thing. It's fantastic. Next up, we got the R90. <sighs> I'm gonna put it in B tier, guys. Uh, and I think the the semi-automatic where it's like boom, boom, and you have to like cock it to, to keep shooting, I think that brings it down a bit for me. And then the shotguns, I like spammable shotguns, but I also, and I also really like the powerful, you know, boom, like the, regular shotguns but yeah the r90 it's like a mix between those two and to me it's just i think it's deserving a b tier right in the middle i think that's fine next up we got the hs21 i'm actually put this in a tier i think this weapon is super underrated and if you haven't tried it out try out this gun especially with the ff birdshot attachment it's super super good and it, it's very much slept on and it's also really really handy in br as well so i'd say a tier is a fair spot for me Next up, we got B. Next up, we got the BY15. I'm gonna put it uh, B tier. I'm gonna put it in front of B tier though, because it is very powerful and you get some decent range kills in terms of like a shotgun, right? But there is one gun that I am gonna put above this, and you guys will see why. And that's actually gonna be the KRM262. Putting that in A tier. I would rather use the KRM over the BY. I just think the KRM packs more of a punch. It's a little bit more fun to use in my opinion. And yeah, that's where it's going. Next up guys, we got the Striker now. I do enjoy using this gun. I really do. It's very fun. And I I do want to put it in A tier, but realistically, I'm going to have to put it in D tier. It is it, The damage fall off is tragic with this gun. Tragic. Uh, my friend Ghost actually gave me a, 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 a loadout of attachments for this gun, and it is super amazing in shipment and everything, but out of outside of shipment, I just I can't use this gun because, the, like I said, the damage falloff is tragic. You guys will understand why I'm going to actually put the Echo... Mm, I'm going to have to put the Echo in C tier. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it actually in B tier because... I would use the Echo over the R90 and of course the Striker, but if I am, I mean, the automatic fire is super good. It doesn't fire as fast as the Striker, but to me, the range is much, much better, and I have much more success spamming this weapon. And yeah, so I, I, I'm actually gonna, yeah, I'm pretty happy with B tier here. All right, guys, final shotgun. We got the HSO, and you guys are wondering why I left C tier empty. I'm putting it in C tier, and I do understand that people have a problem with this. Hear me out, though. This shotgun is overpowered in BR. It is. It, it absolutely is. It can one-tap people to the head in, in, in BR and, well, I guess in multiplayer too. But honestly, in terms of deadliness and usability just all around, 
I would rather use any of these shotguns above it. So that's why I'm putting in C tier. Please let me know what you guys think of this section of the tier list down in the comments below. But now we're going to move on to the secondaries here in COD Mobile. All right, everyone, here we are. We are moving on to the melees here in COD Mobile. I'm going to start off by putting the obvious one here. We're putting the prize fighters in S tier. Do I really need to explain why? They're super fast, obviously, mobility-wise. They're super quiet, so when you pull them out, it doesn't make a sound. And yes, when you start hitting people, it, it does make a sound, but boom, boom. I mean, you can. it's like literally the fastest killing melee weapon here in COD Mobile, and I don't think anybody's going to argue with me putting it in S tier. So, moving on, I'm actually I'm actually going to put this, and this is going to surprise you guys, but I'm actually going to put base melee in A tier. Actually, no. I would put an A tier, and I'm going to explain why I would put an A tier, but the reason I'm actually going to move it to B tier is A tier is is because there's actually so many different like weapons in base melee. There's the Karambit, there's the Bowie Knife, there's all those different kinds of melee weapons that go into base melee, but what puts this to B tier for me is the fact that you can't get camos. You can't earn camos for base melee, and I think thinking thinking about it more and more honestly that's something that cod mobile needs to fix i think that is such like i'm not really sure why like i feel like they could definitely make it a way to be able to you know have you grind camos for base melee but at the same time i understand why they don't i definitely think that they can if they really really put their mind to it they can make you know base melee be able to you know be grindable for camos but that's actually why i'm gonna put it in b tier only because you can't earn camos all right, next up, we got the knife here. I'm just gonna put the slap dab in the middle, C tier. I just, I don't know, it's a knife, dude. You pull it out, it's boom, you know, it, it's obviously you don't attack as fast as, you know, the prize fighters or even some weapons in base melee. So I'm gonna put it slap dab in the middle. I don't, I don't think it's the worst, but I don't think it's obviously the best either. So next up, we got the ax D tier. It, it is such a slow attacking weapon. And that to me puts it down. It, it's just, it's just, I mean, it, I surprisingly got this gold faster than I thought I would, but it still took a while compared to everything else as well. So yeah, I'm putting the axe in D tier. Next up, we got the spear. This is going up right next to the prize fires in S tier. The range on this thing is fantastic. The attack speed is fantastic. You can do like three swipes before like, you know, it resets. It's still super, super fast. The range is super awesome. And actually that brings me to the next melee weapon, the katana, right behind the spear. The katana doesn't have the attack speed of the spear, but my goodness, it has amazing range. And I think that that puts it up in an S tier. I really want your opinion on that, guys. What do you guys think about that? Moving on, though, we're going to go to the size. The size are A tier. The attack speed on these are also very fast. Obviously, the range is a bit shorter. But I think the attack speed alone, and, I mean, you can move around super fast. And I've been killed plenty of times by these things. So I think it deserves A tier. Next up, we got the machete. Ah, oh, dude. I'm... Mm. I'm going to put it in D tier, in front of D tier, because there's a couple things that turn me off to the machete. And one, the the animation that used to play when you would pull the weapon out was so much cooler than it is now. Like, used to, and, and COD Mobile OGs will remember this, when you used to pull out the machete, it you would like flip it and then like hold it, right? But now it's just like a quick animation and not even to mention the inspect is like nothing. There's like no inspect to the machete. I'm not sure why, but that's why I'm putting it in D tier. I would use it over the axe though, just because the machete does attack a little faster than it. So um, if I'm wrong about that, please correct me in the comments, but I still feel like I'm gonna put it in D tier. So next up, we got the butterfly knife. I'm actually gonna put this slap dab in the middle of C tier. I, just, I don't know. I see it the same as the knife. It's the same attack speed, I'm pretty sure. It's got a cool animation when you inspect it, but... Eh, but even then, I think it didn't even have the same inspection that it did in Black Ops 3, where you'd actually, like, twist it around, so... Uh, yeah, I'm slap dab in the middle of C tier. Next up, we got the Cali Sticks. This one... Hmm. I'm gonna put it bottom of C tier because I think you actually need to hit people twice like it's not a one hit kill I think the Cali 6 you need to get like two hits for it to you know be lethal and I think that just gets it down super fast for me yes you're super fast and yeah the animation is pretty cool and I, I do like how they look but yeah I, I just I, I just I don't know bottom of C I think that's a fair spot for it next up we do have the sickle and I'm actually gonna put this right next to B tier 
I like the sickle, the animation is cool, and there are some really cool variants for this thing, and like I said, I actually think the range is pretty, pretty good. It's not like super, like, much better than, you know, some of the ones lower, but first, like, couple of years I was playing COD Mobile, I was using the sickle just because I like the sickle. It's a cool looking weapon, so. Next up, guys, we got the nunchucks. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these right on C tier as well. Similar, you know, opinion in terms of the animations with the Cali sticks and such, but yeah, they're just nothing super special to me. I think they're cool, but that's about it. All right, now we're getting to the... <laughs> now we're getting to... You guys see that we got garbage. We got a garbage tier here, and this is where we're going to start filling it out. But just to throw you guys off for loop here, I'm actually going to put the baseball bat in D tier. It is super slow attack animation. I would probably use the axe over it and the machete, but I think it's pretty similar in terms of attack speed anyway, so I'm just going to put a bottom of D tier. We have the wrench. Garbage! absolute garbage the attack speed is so freaking slow and yes this is the weapon you use in undead siege but like that that's like all this gun has that's all this gun yes this this gun pow pow that's all this melee weapon really has going for it so i'm gonna put it on top of garbage tier uh next up we have the shovel garbage absolutely this one took the longest for me to unlock gold it it it, it sh the attack animation is so freaking slow and it's just the range is trash it's just it's freaking garbage last and certainly most least we got the ballistic knife garbage i know some people are going to give me some flack about this because it is the only melee weapon that you can like shoot people with but bro why would you not just switch to your primary for me to get this gun gold i did not use the shooting function at all and it's not even because I think one thing that is bringing this weapon down a bit for me is is the button that you use to like shoot the thing you can't customize you can't move it anyway it's super awkward to use using touch controls anyway maybe if you use a controller it's a little easier but yeah I just I don't know when I got it gold it like it could be up here next to base melee or maybe even C tier actually because of it if works like a regular knife but I'm putting it in garbage because the freaking shooting thing, the whole thing that makes it unique is, is, it, it's, no. Absolutely not. Call that a scale issue. Call it whatever you want. This is my tier list for the melees. And let's go ahead and move on to the next set of secondary weapons here. All right, everyone, we are at the pistols here. Let's just go ahead and go up. Let's just start off with the shorty F tier. Guys, look, do, do I really need to, you know what? Actually, hold up. All right, guys, here we are moving on to the pistols here in Con Mobile. I'm going to get one out of the way just off the bat. Yep, we're putting an F tier, and I think once you guys hear my explanation, you will understand why. I actually was super excited to get this nail gun unlocked and to use it, because when it first came out, there was a glitch to where, like, it, everybody was confused because there's no attachments you can unlock for it. But then there was a glitch where you can actually put a sight on it by entering, like, the little attachment codes, and I actually had made two videos on this. And it got a lot of views because a lot of people were hoping that we could get attached to the nail gun. Unfortunately, that never happened. Huge miss, in my opinion. So I'm putting that in F tier, honestly. Like, yeah, it's such a shame. Such a missed opportunity. All right, guys. Next up, we're going with the shorty. I'm just going to... Mm, I'm going to put it... I'm still going to put it in F tier, but above the nail gun. Because, it, I mean, a lot of people were saying that this was, like, the hardest gun to get gold for the secondaries you know pistols to me it didn't take as much time but it is still super tedious all i did was i went into free for all on scrapyard and i just used the ksp you know with wounding and i got a couple bursts into people and then i switched to shorty killed them long range bam but it is still pretty trash so i don't think anybody's gonna argue with me on this let's go ahead and move on mw11 i'm actually gonna put in b tier i think the mw11 is criminally underrated it can fire super freaking fast and especially with attachments and the range actually is not as bad as you would think so i'm gonna put it slap dab in the middle b tier i think that's a fair spot for it next up we got the j358 mm, c tier for me it's good don't get me wrong but there's one other gun that i would that i think is like the better version of this and i'm not gonna spoil that for right now but I think it's, it, it fires pretty slow. There's only, what, like eight rounds max you can get for it. I think that really weighs down the weapon really hard. I And I even like revolvers in real life, too. I think they're just a cool design weapon in general. 
but I think in COD Mobile, it's pretty underwhelming, so I'm gonna put it below B tier and C. Next up, we got the crossbow. I'm actually gonna put it top of C. Top of C, there we go. I think the different bolts that you can get for it, like the thermite, the gas, you know, the grenade bolt, they're cool, but I don't think there's really much other use besides that. Like that's the only thing that kept this enjoyable for me when I was grinding it. So I'm gonna put it above the J358 because it is, like I said, it is a little cooler. You know, it's, it's a crossbow, obviously you have to be a little more accurate, but like I said, I think the gas bolt, the thermite bolt and the uh, grenade bolt really add some replay value to this gun. So that's the only reason why I'm putting it above the J358, but below, uh, you know, B tier with the MW11 and the other guns I'm gonna put up here. Speaking of that, guys, we have the 50GS S tier. Do do I really need to explain? This is one of the, if not the most hard hitting secondary weapon in COD Mobile, and I do think that, like, uh, for me personally, I actually find myself using. Uh, I don't use a Kimbo on this thing. As much as that would surprise people, I actually really enjoy using this as a longer range secondary because you, it is very deadly, especially if you're accurate. And honestly, I think the new Prestige 50GS looks freaking clean, so. Moving on though, we have the machine pistol. I'm actually gonna put this behind the MW11. It's good. Although I found myself when I grinded it and I was getting a gold and I was even trying out different attachments. It's, I don't know, it's a little underwhelming for me. So I'm gonna put it behind the MW11. But I still do, of course, think it's it's better than the crossbow and the J35 8 So next up, we got the L car A tier. I think that the fully automatic function of this gun is really fun, and honestly, I I, I do think it's better than machine pistol, and that's why I'm putting it like you know top of A, but like not in B because I do use this weapon a lot. I think the range is really good. The extended mag is actually pretty effective, whereas I think with the machine pistol, the extended mag is like. Eh. And if and it it might have a bigger extended mag than I can remember, but I still think it just ran out of ammo super fast. So next up, we got the Dov the Dobra. I'm gonna call it the Makarov pistol, guys. I'm gonna put the Makarov pistol right behind A tier, uh, right behind the L car here in A tier. And I do think that and it's cool that you can you know akimbo them. And it's the the magazine is absolutely insane. You can get like a freaking million rounds. And I think it's really cool the different kind of damage attachments you can add to this thing. Um, but I do, of course, would, I honestly find myself using the L-Car a little more, and of course the 50GS a little more, so that's why I'm putting it behind the L-Car in A tier. Last but certainly not least, this will surprise you guys. The Renetti is going in D tier, and I did not used to think this. When I first was just, you know, using pistols in general, like way before I was camo grinding, I actually used the Renetti a lot. But I found myself as I was grinding the other pistols, and I was, and when I really had to actually hunker down and get the Renetti gold, it actually was so underwhelming. I, I, I was actually really disappointed. I think the one thing that would save this gun is an akimbo attachment, and that call me cheesy, whatever it is. I think that is why it's super underwhelming for me. Because yes, the three round burst is accurate, and yes, it's good, but like, it's a. Brrr. And if you're not super freaking right up to your face on a, on a you know, a freaking enemy, I would rather, like, I would much rather use 50 GS. Boom, boom. Like, fire is super fast, and yeah, the burst is good and accurate, but yeah, like I said, compared to using all these other weapons, I really found the Renetti kind of disappointing. So, I'm pretty confident my secondaries list here, at least in terms of the pistols. And last but not least, we're going to move on to the freaking launchers. This is going to be a pretty easy... Uh, list here as you guys can see here um oh my dude freaking ads what the shrimp anyway guys here we are last four guns here in con mobile and i do only have four slots here because i think it's i mean obviously there's only four but uh, i'm curious as to where you guys think i'm gonna put the d13 sector it's going in c guys look i'm just gonna be honest a lot of people said that this launcher was gonna be the most difficult launcher to get gold and it was difficult, I'm not gonna lie, but I actually completed getting the NA45 gold before I had to do the launchers, you know, in terms of like the order I did my grind in. And honestly, like it's trash, but it wasn't as bad as everybody was making it seem. I actually got it done. I got this gun and the shorty done in like a couple hours. 
and that's really not that bad. So, um, I, I'm gonna put it obviously in the lowest tier here, but yeah. Next up, we got the Thumper. I'm just gonna put that in B tier. It's it's good, and it's obviously better than D13 Sector, but the other two launchers here, the SMRS, I would rather use over the Thumper. It's it does so much damage. It's super accurate, and I really do enjoy the way that this weapon sounds. But honestly, S tier for the FHJ. It just recently got a leggy too, which I haven't picked up. I might, but I do think the locking on capabilities of the FHJ just put in S tier automatically for using launchers, right? And it will be interesting because I don't really, for me personally, I don't really think that COD Mobile needs to add another launcher. I'm sure they will, but I think these four, like it covers a pretty decent amount of like gameplay that you could have with launchers, if you will. And the only thing about the D13 sector is honestly, when I was using the D13 sector in Black Ops 3, it's, it's freaking amazing. It's an amazing freaking weapon. You can get like freaking 5 million kills, but in COD Mobile, they did my boy dirty. So that's why I had to put in the last tier, but it's not like D or F tier. No, oh, it's still okay. It's not the freaking worst gun in the game. But yeah, I mean, that's that's my list, guys. That's where it is. I think that is actually going to do it for this tier list. There was a lot of different tier lists in this video. And I'm going to put timestamps as to, you know, which, you know, section of weapons you guys want to see me rate. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, actually, let me do a little try. Alright guys, that is actually going to do it for this video. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, it took a long time to record and edit, especially because I had to take a screenshot of like each little weapon icon because I couldn't just like Google the weapons on, well, Google. You'd be surprised, a lot of the websites that like list all the weapons in COD Mobile are actually not up to date at all, so. It was a little bit more tedious to get this video together than I thought, but of course it was still really fun to make. Guys, like I said, if you did enjoy it, drop this video a like. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys think of my list. And like I said, if you did enjoy it, drop a like on this video. Maybe subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video slash stream. Peace.